Casablanca expert Chet Davis here with you today. This short video tutorial help you get the most out of your Casablanca video editor. Today's video tutorial is compatible with both Smart Edit and Bogart platforms as long as you have Effects Pack 6. The effect I want to show you is from Effect Pack 6. This is an add-on software product and this was recently highlighted in the August 2012 members only webinar. But I love this effect so much I wanted to share it with everybody and also invite you if you're not a member today to become a member and you'll have access to this full 62 minute uh, video tutorial where we walk through all the effects in Effects Pack 5 and Effects Pack 6 which you can see up here inside my storyboard. Uh, as well as the function I'm going to show you today. Again, this effect is called Shift Hue. And Shift Hue uses something we call Color Cycle Animation. I, I go into more depth in the webinar, and I don't want to take your time with that today, but just to show you how cool it is, what you can do is take any scene that you have. Uh, it could be a logo or a drawing, uh, a painting, uh, artwork that you've imported into your system, whether it's a photo or a video. But I like to use it with the still scene. It makes a cool title, background, or DVD menu. And what I did to create what we're going to work with is I went under New, and selected pattern, uh, opened up the pattern uh, selector in the image pool, and you can use the DVD background and images. Now this is something all of us have, and you can see I did pop art number four, click OK, and I did two different versions, a three second and a 10 second. So here's the three second version, and it just looks, it's a static image, it's just, you know, that's it right there. And then I have a 10 second long version over here. Same exact image, just a longer scene. So here's the three second long version, and it doesn't change. Well. Oh, it changes. How did I do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. That's what's done with Shift Hue. What you do is you go under the special menu while I'm parked on top of that three second long scene and you'll find Shift Hue in the bottom alphabetical section. The settings you want to do to do color cycle animation are over here. Uh, make sure uh, method is set to animate, not to still, to animate and adjust your shift hue slider to 360 degrees. This is imperative if you plan on even possibly using this for what we call uh, a jump back where you're going to add this to the storyboard uh, an infinite number of times to create a looping animation. Let me show you what I mean. When I click OK, it's going to go ahead and start to, to animate. See how the, the colors are changing here? Uh, it's going through the purples and the blues. And you can see this is shifting to the greens. And that's green now. And then the yellows. And, and it's cool. When I said 360 degrees, what the Casablanca does, let me open up the trim menu and show you. The very first frame, you can see it's kind of red and orange in the bottom left corner. We've got the blue in the upper right corner. Well, as I slide through the clip, you see how the colors are changing? And that's cool. When you do 360 degrees, what happens? The very last frame is going to be the same as the very first frame. Now, why that's important is if I wanted to use a longer animation, what I do is I can add this to the storyboard an infinite number of times and because it goes back to the beginning, the same colors I had in the beginning, watch what happens when I show you the transition here as we go between the different scenes. You won't be able to tell the gap when one scene ends and the next one begins because it's a full looping animation. That's the beauty of using this effect. Now, one more thing I want to share with you uh, uh, about this effect is that you can see that I added the color cycle animation, the shift hue, on a three second scene. And then I also added it on a 10 second scene. A logical question is, why did you do that, Chad? Why didn't you just do it on the shortest so it renders quickly? Well, let me show you. Here's the three second long scene. See how the colors are, are changing fairly quickly? When I go to a 10 second long scene where it has the shift hue effect, the colors are going to shift more slowly. And if I did it on a 30 second or one minute long still image, it's going to go even more slowly. So the secret or the trick using the shift hue and color cycle animation is that if you want the colors to change more rapidly, do it. Do the shift hue effect on a shorter scene like I did here on the three second long base scene. If you want the colors to more gradually, more slowly shift and change, apply shift hue to a longer scene like 10 seconds or 30 seconds or even one minute. Casablanca expert Chet Davis saying, ciao for now.